Thank you. All right. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, we are still having our open spaces this afternoon, but we are going to slip in uh, an extra fun uh, activity here. Ignite karaoke. Yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, explain, explain what we're doing here. Uh, I'm not going to make you raise your hands, but can you please nod if you've seen Ignite Karaoke before? One. Awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> so what Ignite Karaoke is, you've just seen a whole bunch of Ignite talks, and the format is slides that auto-advance every 15 seconds. Ignite Karaoke is based off of an improv game where you just commit to telling a one-minute story about something using slides that you've never, ever seen before. Uh, this is really great if you want to just see how not terrifying it can be or how terrifying it can be. Uh, I, will, I will demonstrate in the form of an Ignite Karaoke. So I'm here to talk about Awesome tips for Ignite Karaoke. Uh, it's great because you can, it's basically us telling stories at each other. Uh, anyone can do this. You don't have to be Einstein. You could be a pit bull. It's fine. Uh, you can get away with lying uh, because no one's going to fact check you. Uh, and just like the upcoming weekend, it can be a blast. Empty spaces are fine. Yes, it can be kind of scary to get up here. Uh, hopefully you won't lose your cookies. Uh, I, have, I don't think that's happened yet. And you don't really have to be an expert. Uh, you just have to have fun. <laughs> just let it go. It'll, it'll all be fine in the end. There's guardrails. Uh, I mean, there's no guardrails, but like, you'll be fine. It can be a real treat standing up here and just going through the Rolodex of what the heck is happening in your brain. Uh, and your computer can die. <laughs> Sorry. But that's okay, because, you know, it'll be fine in the end. Um, <laughs> that's the end, right? <laughs> uh, so we have lots of these. Uh, let's hold up, hold up. Maybe, oh yeah, it paused itself. Cool. So what happens, uh, nope, these are all, whee, let's not give away the surprises. All right, um, the way these work is there are five slides and then there's a slide that says switch. That one also lasts for 15 seconds. So if you would like to participate in Ignite Karaoke, and it is really thrilling, it'll get your blood going, it's a great after lunch thing, uh, if you could, line up by the question microphone, uh, then what can happen, I'm, I'm improvising this part too, let me know if I'm breaking fire marshal code or something. Okay, so the idea will be, uh, you'll finish your thing, you'll be, You'll be full of nerves and happiness because you've survived. Uh, and during that 15 second switch slide, you'll look at the next person and you'll do a handoff. And the next person will come up and be like, I'm gonna talk about, just commit, be like, I'm gonna talk about the five best DevOps tips I ever learned. Springy dinosaurs. Uh, you don't wanna be a springy dinosaur, I don't know. Uh, okay, can I, now I'm gonna ask for a show of hands. Have I explained it well? Cool, awesome. Uh, so go ahead and start lining up. Uh, you wanna go first? All right, I will get the computer set up. Oh, uh, you'll be, a if you're up here, you'll be able to look at the slide off of this big screen and you won't have to do this thing. Uh, it's easier on the neck. Okay, so the most important thing about being up here is learning to just deal with it. Technology, well, you know, it doesn't always do what we think it's supposed to. There's always the demo test, the most stringent test in the world, but 
as long as you keep on top of things, it's great. The five symptoms of laziness. One, you're a sysadmin. Two, you're smart. <laughs> the best sysadmins are the most lazy sysadmins. You know, why do you want to have to do things over and over and over again? You kind of look like that koala cat. <laughs> Trying to understand, why do I want to sit here and do the same thing over and over every day? It's boring. I'm just going to lay down and take a nap. And if you've done your automation, it's easy to take a nap. Cafe Bassi, I was addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. You know, by learning how to script and be able to set up your system administration tools, you too can turn around how you do things. So you aren't spending time doing it manually all the time. And you can kind of go to your manager and they're all like, hey, wow, look at what you did. I'm going to give you a raise. That's how it should be, right? Hey, I saved you time, I saved you money. Good, I'll give you some of that money. <laughs> Local guy I teach at the Idea Foundry, if those of you have heard of it. Um, we don't make ejection seats there, but uh, we certainly could with all the tools that we have. Um, the, um, it's one way to get fired. Uh, what do we got? Do, do, do. Oh, there we go. And whoops. No, looks like he was about to reach for some new heights, but he didn't get there. Sorry, right. I'm thinking of a number between zero and one. <laughs> That's out of bounds. Well, um, what do we got? Oh, hey, something. Nice. The... Um, uh, there we go. Syntax error. Right. Got. Sorry. Just too many things going through the head. Um, mm, sorry. Total blank. <laughs> we moving? There we go. Okay. And uh, you know, it's, it's that whole um, new project feel. Just out in the swoop. Hey, the project's launched. <laughs> We've all had that feeling, right? Next comes the shovels. <laughs> uh, but, you know, new users, they're, they're cute, aren't they? You know, they, they try to work a system, and they're just adorable when they go, hey, what's this error? <laughs> and you have to uh, take them through everything and uh, kind of get them up to speed. And um, whoop, hey, time to switch already. <laughs> Can you guys hear me fine? Oh, there you go. I can hear me fine. Talk to the mic. Talk to the mic? Eh, there you go. All right, so here's the deal about me. I've always been a curious individual, and I'll tell you about the curious individuals. They will always find a way to break the rules, and I've always broken rules. So sorry you brought me here, but I'm breaking your rule. So the rule is that I'm supposed to speak about the picture, but I don't know what the heck it is or what it's doing. Um, you know, the first thing I learned uh, in English was uh, how to say good morning, and I learned it from watching Sesame Street. And uh, so, you know, I waited outside an American school uh, in Indian subcontinent, and uh, <laughs> and I waited and waited. No, Chris Evans, I did not knock on the door. If you remember the story. I waited outside for a while and somebody came out and I said, good morning. And the answer was good afternoon. And so until high school, I thought the response to good morning is good afternoon. So what am I seeing here? A cat, I love cats. <laughs> Uh, that was great. <laughs> do we, any, anybody else want to take a shot? You can do it. <laughs> yes. Let's do. Let's do one more. Come on up. <laughs> you got it. Right. Yeah, we got. Yeah. Yeah, we got time. Hello, my name is Matt, and I have an improg ignite problem. <laughs> Ah, cats. I 
am happy to say that I am the proud slave of not one, not two, not three, not four, but we're down to five feline overlords. And sometimes that is their look on their face, especially if we haven't fed them. Now my daughter, she is so pugnacious. I don't know where she got it from, but she likes dogs. And yet we're in a household of five cats. It, but she wants to introduce a dog. We tell her, you know, the pugs that you like, they're going to get eaten. Now sometimes all of our cats, they're foundlings. And people keep trying to give us a cat. And we, we say, no, no, we can't take one right now. No, no, no. But we want to because they're so cute. Now, sometimes, though, it's funny watching the cats because they'll sit there and they'll think about something. OK, I know it's going to come out here next, so I'm going to get at it. Or we had one cat who saw that a bug went between a box, and he walked right around the box to the backside, and he was there waiting for that bug. Cats are pretty smart. Turtles, on the other hand, well, you know, they aren't real bright. But, you know. Oh.